Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, let's go ahead and take a look at this 2016 Chevrolet Cruze 1LT. So this will be a full take of the Cruze Limited. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as the exterior. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let it run. The exterior color is known as Summit White, featuring a full black cloth interior. The cruise comes standard with speed proportional electric assist rack and pinion power steering on a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with multifunction controls on the top spokes and silver trim on the lower spokes. The cruise comes standard with the six speed manual gearbox while this car comes with the optional six speed automatic. You also have manual shifting on the column as well as a vinyl e brake, which does have a good feel also. And so we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights, as well as the hazards. The driver's side window is fully automatic, while the rest of the windows are just automatic down. So we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? Before the release of the global Chevrolet Cruze compact sedan in 2008, General Motors made the use of the name Cruze between 2001 and 2008 in Japan. And as was the Chevrolet YGM1 concept car at the Tokyo Motor Show in 1999, the original Cruze was derived from the subcompact Suzuki Ignis 5-door hatchback known as the Suzuki Swift in Japan. Despite the Chevrolet branding, the YGM1, like the production car, was the work of GM's Australian arm, Holden. About the styling, Holden executed most of the engineering work and they were responsible for devising the cruise nameplate. The cruise came with either a 1.3 or 1.5 liter engine, coupled to either a 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic transmission. Manufactured by Suzuki in Japan, General Motors revealed the production Chevrolet Cruze in October 2001, with Japanese sales commencing the following month. This version of the Cruze was also sold in Australia and in New Zealand from 2002 to 2006 as the Holden Cruze. The production Cruze had standard front-wheel drive with all-wheel drive optional. Chevrolet pursued a marketing strategy that positioned the high-riding Cruze as a light-duty SUV. The, this contrasted with Suzuki's approach with the Ignis, marketed as a conventional passenger model. From 2003, Suzuki of Europe began manufacturing the cruise as the Suzuki Ignis, representing a facelift of the original Ignis, but only for European markets. The Ignis is still manufactured today 
and in India, the Ignis is marketed as the Maruti Suzuki Ignis, which is sold in their high-end Nexa department. In 2008, General Motors introduced the Cruise Compact Car, carrying the J300 internal designation. This J300 iteration serves as a replacement for the Chevrolet Cobalt, Debu Lascetti, and Holden Astra, which are all unrelated cars. General Motors phased out production of the Cobalt and its badge-engineered counterpart, the Pontiac G5 in 2010, just prior to manufacture the Chevrolet Cruze that was in to commence. The first renderings of the Cruze were revealed by General Motors at a press conference in July 2008, which the first official images were released on August 21st in 2008, underpinned by the front-wheel drive General Motors De Delta II platform, GM has confirmed the cruise development program occurred under a global design and engineering team. GM Daewoo in South Korea played the leading role in the design and engineering of the cruise along with GM's German-based Opel division. This development program spanned over 27 months at a cost of $4 billion. A total of 221 prototypes were tested in Australia, Canada, China, South Korea, Sweden, and the UK, as well as the United States. According to GM, the cruise's body structure is 55% high-strength steel. McPherson struts are utilized in the front suspension with the solid torsion beam axle for the rear, avoiding the cost and complexity needed for a modern multi-link independent rear suspension used by some more expensive rivals. According to GM's global product development chief, Mark Roos, the North America version cruise is modified from the global platform as it requires reinforcements to the engine compartment because it offers a bigger engine in the other markets and uses torsion beam suspension. Hydraulic assisted rack and pinion power steering, or electric assist for the US market, gives a 10.9 meter turning circle, or 36 feet. Braking wise, ventilated front and solid rear disc brakes are employed, both using piston steel calipers. The counteract noise, vibration, and harshness, engineers have designed the cruise with an isolated four-point engine mount and implemented sound dampening material in areas including the front of dashboard panel, luggage compartment, deck lid internals, doors, carpet, and headlighting. Further noise suppression through the use of a triple layer sealing system in the doors has also been employed. While the cruise was released for other countries in earlier years, the cruise came in the United States in 2010 for the 2011 model year. A five-door cruise hatchback was unveiled as a concept car at the 2010 Mondial de l'Automobile in Paris. The cruise hatchback began sales in Europe in mid-2011. Holden Australia was responsible for the design and development of the hatchback body variant. General Motors unveiled the Chevrolet Cruze station wagon at the Geneva Motor Show in 2012. The new 2016 Cruze was revealed at an event in June of 2015. Since then, this model was still in production for the 2016 model year, but renamed the Cruze Limited. And now in 2017, it has been completely discontinued. As far as the exterior features, yes, simple headlights, fog lights, reflectors, satin black trim, And of course, you have other safety and security features too. Chrome trim. Cross trunk lid right here. This cruise comes standard with the 16 inch, 5 spoke alloy wheels and 21560 tires. It also has front disc brakes and rear drum brakes with anti locking, electronic brake distribution, and brake assist. The cruise comes standard with the McPherson strut front suspension with coil springs and a stabilizer bar and a compound crank rear suspension with front rear gas pressurized shock absorbers. This vehicle has a length of 181 inches, a width of 70.7 inches, and a height of 58.1 inches running on a 105.7 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight can be about 31.18 pounds. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. 
The Cruise LT comes standard with a 1.4 liter, 16 valve, double overhead cam, turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine. It produces 138 horsepower at 4900 RPM and 148 pound feet of torque at 1850 RPM. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 62 miles an hour are rated at 9.3 seconds with an electronically limited top speed of 132 miles per hour. This car is front wheel drive and it has a 15.6 gallon tank requiring 87 octane petrol fuel. EPA estimated miles per gallon ratings are 26 city and 38 highway. Open the cruise and you get a good amount of space. You have power windows, locks, mirrors, and manual seats. So we'll go ahead and shut her up. Nice solid panels. This vehicle does come with Chevrolet's standard audio system, which is pretty decent. Left, you have side curtain airbags, illuminated vanity mirrors, reading lights, and other various controlled door lights, auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar and SOS. Coming down to your entertainment system, you have various phone controls, including your audio controls for CD, phone, auxiliary, and other things like that as well. You have your trunk release button right here. You've got your hazard switch. And you have also your air conditioning controls, including where it goes. Face, legs, face, things like that, and including front and rear defrost and recycling and air conditioning itself. You got your shifter for your automatic transmission. Tra traction control. You got a 12 volt power outlet down here. You got your e-brake. Got center console with your auxiliary and USB ports. As far as your steering wheel, you've got your cruise control and your volume control. Also your other front controls as well, including voice command. Ready. Help. Which would you like help with? Hands-free calling? Turn by. You can say call, store, thank you, goodbye. So it's mainly only for phone controls, but... As far as that, it is pretty decent though. You've got your hazard controls, indicators. And also, if you push it partially down, it'll only indicate three times. Basically, in case you're switching in the highway or something like that, it's much more convenient. I'll show you on the other side. Pull it up slightly. Overall, it's a very unique feature. You got your wiper controls, pulse, and then low, high, and you've also got your mist control as well. So overall, it's pretty unique. Also, you have your leather wrapped steering wheel with black trim as well, part of the LT package for cruise. And to your left, You've got your other OBD2 controls and other safety controls as well. And your headlight controls as well. It's also a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. It's also quite nice for this kind of car. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and shut her down. So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Twelve volt power outlet. 
full center console with two cup holders. The cruise does have an incredible amount of cargo space for its class. You get about 15 cubic feet or 425 liters standard. But of course, if you fold the rear seats, you can obviously expand the storage. You can also have other things like the jack storage and spare tire as well. Proper size love box. The cruise limited, even though it's the previous generation cruise, while the new cruise came out, it still is a great vehicle at a cheaper price for those who don't need that much of a new vehicle at all. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of this 2016 Chevrolet Cruise Limited LT. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where all this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X Rides Cars. Take care, everybody.